Hi, my name is Jared Platt. We are going to be discussing adding style to images inside of Lightroom once your images have already been adjusted. Now, in my case, I have a post-processing partner named Shoot.Edit. And Shoot.Edit does all of the scientific work behind my images. So when I send my images to Shoot.Edit, via a catalog in Lightroom, they do all the adjustments of the black points, the white points, and all of the, uh, you know, the scientific work behind skin tones, the right or wrong things. Um, so they just make everything right. And you can see that they've adjusted all of my images so that they are all neutralized and they look great. But what I want to do is add some style to those images on top of what they've done. So right now, they all look pretty good on their own. They look great, actually. Uh, but I, there's a couple that I want to change to black and white, or maybe I want to add some kind of a color effect to them, or maybe I just want to add a little extra richness to several of them, or something like that. Now that could be a pretty daunting task in and of itself, especially if I was going into the develop module, and then I was looking at an image, and maybe highlighting a set of images, and then going through and deciding, even if I was using presets and going through and choosing a preset and adding that preset, that would be pretty daunting because it's a lot of work to go through every single image uh, one by one. However, we have a grid module and I trust everything that they've done and I can scan through and look to make sure everything looks about right. And it does, everything looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go back up to say this set of images that I'm already looking at and I wanna add some extra style to these images. For instance, let's say I want to scan through the entire event and change certain things to black and white. And you can see that I've already changed a, a couple of them to black and white already. Let me show you how I do that in mere moments. So what I do is I go down to the spray can tool, which is down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the grid module in the library, in the library module in the grid mode. If I click on that painter tool, I can choose to spray things and the thing I'm going to spray is settings and then right next to the settings area there is a toggle that gives me all of the presets in my repertoire. So every preset that I've ever made or downloaded or purchased is right here ready to go. So I'm going to go to my curves collection and I'm going to choose on a classic uh, black and white film. When I click on that classic black and white film, this spray can that you see now has black and white classic preset inside of it. So now, any image that I want to put into black and white, I simply spray it. So I click on it with the mouse, and one click gives me that cl classic black and white. Then if I want to, if there's a whole series, like let's say I want to get these little kids here all in black and white, I simply click and drag, click and drag, click, and now all of those, here's some more, we're just going to give those little kids black and white, and then we're going to keep scrolling down, and you can see that I added black and white to this one. I'm going to add black and white to that one as well, and to this one as well. So I'm, I'm just adding that black and white, classic black and white, to anything that I think would look better. Like for instance here, See that lady's red shirt is a little bit loud, so it's better to just do it in black and white. And then she's not so loud, everybody works together in that image. Same thing with this purple shirt here, it kind of detracts from her. I want to look at her, so I'm going to spray that black and white, and now she is going to be perfectly uh, visible. And the purple shirt's not going to distract our attention. So I'm just clicking on things that I want to make black and white, or I can click and drag across them and they will turn to that black and white. Then if I decide to add another preset of some sort, I simply go down to the settings area inside the painter tool and click on the preset drop down menu and look for another preset. I can go into my everyday favorites and click on a color portrait film setting and then I can simply go through and look for Let's go to all my portraits here and say I want to add all of these to have a color portrait film preset on them. And you can see that I'm spraying across all of these. So I'm really getting a lot done here just with, just with a couple little swipes of this tool. And I just go through and skip over anything that I don't think needs to have that color preset on it. 
and then the rest of it is good to go. That guy needs to be changed a little bit. Let's go down here. That's it. Oh, these two right here. Okay, so now we've added all of the style that we want to add, put away our painter tool here in its little cubby hole, and now we can highlight all of our images and we can export those to the client. And that's how easy it is to add style to your images after you have already done work on them or after you've received them back from some kind of assistant or in my case, shoot.edit who does all my post-processing. It's a real snap. One thing that you should keep in mind is that your presets need to be developed correctly so that they don't overwrite the basic adjustments that have already occurred on your images from someone like shoot.edit or an assistant or whoever might be doing that science behind your images. So we will talk about that in the very next video. My name is Jared Platt. For more information and Lightroom tips, you can go to jaredplatt.com.